south, I'll go to the south. You tell me to go to the east, I'll go to the east. You tell me to go to the west, you tell me to go to Africa, Jamaica, uh, India, I don't care where it is. God, whatever you tell me, I'll do it. Yes. So God puked him out. When he hit the dry land, God spoke to him again and said, Go on down the middle of the crowd. He said, I'm on my way. On my way. He went to this city, ladies and gentlemen. There was a humongous city. Bigger than Louisville, Kentucky. Bigger than most cities. It took three days to walk through it. Three days to walk from one side of the city to the other. But he began to cry out. Thus saith the Lord. Forty days in this city of Paul. God seen the wickedness and the perversion. God seen all the things that he don't want to see. Forty days. This city will be no more. Forty days. This city will be no more. Somehow the word got spread around. God's done sent judgment. God's pronounced judgment. Finally got back to the king. The king said, listen. So let's believe what God said. Let's believe 40 days this thing's going to fall, but let's do something else. Let's get in sackcloth and ashes and put the animals in it. And let's cry out to God and maybe God repent of this evil that He's going to do against us. Yeah. Listen, folks. As sure as I stand here tonight, the United States of America, right now, is under the judgment of God. That's right. Yeah, that's right. People don't serve God like they used to. On the currency in God we trust. They don't trust God like they used to. They don't have faith in God like they used to. They don't walk with God like they used to. They don't pray like they used to. They don't seek God like they used to. They don't say, God, I remember my daddy told me, uh, my grandpa, he was a Baptist preacher for 60 some years. He said, many times I remember he got out and plow the fields and do all that he'd plant the seed and he'd come to the seed over and then he said he'd kneel down in that old dirt and he'd raise his hands. He'd say, God, I've done all that I could do. Now, God, you let it grow. Yeah. People used to trust in God. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of folks are on the wrong <laughs> ship. Say amen. amen. But if you need to cry out against this thing, the Bible said that the God had set close and asked us and cried out to God and they prayed and cried out to God and God repeated and God saved 120,000 people. Now listen. Who's to know what God can do if thou can believe? If you can believe. We live in a time right now that evangelism, the devil wants to push evangelism from off the field. He wants to destroy the work of evangelism. He wants to destroy the works of God's word gone far. It don't make any difference how he does it. Well, as long as somebody, some sissy five penny holes preach out there preaching, I ain't gonna bother the devil now. That's right. Or get him a suck ball, get in the corner somewhere. That's it. Amen. 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 Why? But the world knows it's all. But every time that God's got a messenger, every time that God's got somebody, the devil said, I'm going to put him off the field. Uh -huh. I'll destroy him. I'll push him off the side. Uh -huh. I'll put him on a boat one way or the other. I'll make it hard on him. Yeah. But listen, if I can believe, if we can believe, all things is possible to them that believe. All things. Not just some things. All things is possible to him that believes. Jesus said all. Say all. Oh. All things is possible. Oh. You said, Brother Jones, that's not me. Not me. No. I'm not on that ship. Disobedience. Well, maybe you're on this ship. Then. There's a time, ladies and gentlemen, that disciples was on the ship. On the sea. Somebody said, my God, said, we're going to go under. We can't stand this storm. 
Somebody said, don't you remember who's in the bottom of the boat? Yeah. Don't you remember who's in this ship with us? Yeah. That's it. Don't you remember who walked down those steps and laid down and down there sleep on a pillow? Don't you remember it's the one that opens the eyes of the blind and heals the sick, cast out devils and raises the dead? Yeah. Somebody said, my God, go down and wake him up. Yeah. Listen, down there they went, shut Jesus and said, Master, 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 don't you care, we're going to perish. Jesus didn't wake up and say, oh, children, I'm so sorry. You know what he done? He woke up and rebuked him. Uh -huh. yeah. He said, ye of little faith. Amen. Why do you doubt a ship of doubt and unbelief? grip people's hearts. Fear grips the hearts to one that they can't believe what God wants to do. You know who the author of fear is? The devil. Amen. Say amen. amen. He's the author of fear and doubt and unbelief, jealousy, envy, strife, and every other foul and clean spirit. Amen. Jesus didn't just rise up and, and, and say, oh, I'll help you. No. He rose up and said, why do you doubt for? Why do you doubt me? Why do you doubt the power? Ye of little faith. Listen. If he said ye of little faith, it means that they must be great faith somewhere. Yeah. That's right. Huh? If there's little faith, they can be much faith. Yeah. He said, where's it at? If thou can believe, all things is possible. I'm going to tell you something. This message is going to come home to some of you. Not very long off. If thou can believe, all things is possible. Jesus walked up, walked down the bow of the ship, lifted his hands and looked the storm in the face, and he said, Peace, be still. And the storm ceased, and the wind quit blowing, and the sea came calm. They said, what manner of man is this? And even the winds and the sea obey his will. You say, preacher, I'm not on that boat. Well, maybe you're on this one. I'll go get a little swing in the room. Hallelujah. You say, I don't have doubt and fear. Well, let me tell you about another ship. Disciples on this ship, not on the waters. 